What is up everyone? Welcome back. Today we are gonna check out men's suits from fall winter 23 runways. Well, tailoring has gone fully mainstream this season. This is true, especially for suits. In a sense, tailoring has been always around and fundamentals have not changed much. However, they fluctuated in fit and style. If we look back, the global pandemic popularized relaxed and oversized suits, which put the traditional shirt tie and blazer combo out of job. Since then, menswear designers have been experimenting the new ways that suits can be designed and styled. Last season, suits without shirts ruled the runways. Well, this season, the obsession with suits got even bigger and reached a new peak. This time, designers did not shy away to deconstruct suits and heavily experiment with many different shapes, silhouettes, and style. As seen on Fall Winter 23 runways, almost every menswear designer put their twist and presented their take on suits. Alright, let's go ahead and check it out. At Balenciaga, oversized tailoring looks were everywhere. They were constructed from reverse tailored pants. You could see suit jackets with pant loops and pockets in the hems, and below them hung extra pair of pants, which gave the illusion that the models were walking on four legs. Show notes explain that the tailoring segment was inspired by Demna's earliest memory as a child in Georgia. He went to a neighboring tailor twice for fittings to get a perfect pair of pants. At Dolce & Gabbana, the designer duo favored the suits with hourglass suit jackets. They explained that usually it's a masculine construction that is applied to women's jackets, but this time they did the opposite. They took a jacket tailored for a woman and worked hard to beautifully fit a man's body. They worked with their artisans and they came up with such incredibly sculpted shapes that they were amazed themselves. At Dior, Kim Jones presented his signature tailoring. Well, during his tenure at Dior, we saw the evolution of his distinctively tailored suits, minimalist and lapelless with flowing pants. It has both Dior's captivating sensitivity and elegance. This time, the designer added some more tweaks, such as detachable and drawstring adjustable sleeves. At Gucci, tailoring was super chill and comfy. Elongated, double-breasted suit jackets were worn shirtless or laid atop white t-shirts with deep scoop neckline. Gucci suits here featured detachable sleeves and legs. They added more dimension and sense of functionality. Looking at Prada, tailoring here was super crisp and elegant. Designers added some useful personality with detachable color that was 70s inspired and came in various bright tones. The designer duo did not stop there and unveiled their yet another take on suiting. This time, they threw futuristic tailoring into the picture. Suit jackets here were designed and styled like shirts and worn tucked in. Those looks were accessorized with tote bags, which seemingly contained water bottles. At and Demule Mister Ludovic de Sanson paid a tribute to the brand's heritage and roots. His models wore suits in signature Demule Mister style with undone shirts and with their cuffs visible, extending a few inches past the jackets. Those glistening shirts were tied effortlessly at the waist. Looking at yet another Belgian fashion house, Dries Noton, suits here were done in oversized silhouette with super elongated double-breasted jackets that featured also power shoulders. Dries Noton unveiled his yet another take on tailoring. This time it was made up with a slimmer jacket and flowing pants. These waist accentuated suits with strong shoulders had a subtle retro allure and a masculine swagger. At Fendi, tailoring looked super cool and chic. It was done in the spirit of nightlife and 70s disco. Suits here were adorned by small letters made out of metal that resembled studs. The coolest detail here was a single shoulder cape that added more dimension and playful vibes to the Fendi suits. Those capes were also worn 
tied around the waist that gave the illusion that the models were wearing a skirt. Seventies theme was also present at Etro. Here Mark De Vincenzo unveiled a wide range of 70s inspired double-breasted suits. Vibe here was super chill and comfy with retro charm and swagger. Anyways guys, suits here were done in elongated 70s silhouette and cut in strikingly impressive tartans. At Ferragamo, Maximilian Davis went even beyond 70s. He reimagined the 50s Hollywood style through the lenses of modernity. Elongated suit jackets here featured a high lapel and slightly nipped in waist. The designer elevated his tailoring with modern tweaks, such as two slits at front that revealed flashes of color. At Giorgio Armani, tailoring was done in the military slash utilitarian style. Here, Mr. Armani's three-piece suits still offered a sharp aesthetic and at the same time avoided looking overdone. There were also two-piece suits done similarly in utilitarian aesthetic. A suit jacket here is reimagined as a double-breasted jacket with four pairs of buttons and a drawstring hood. At Givenchy, Matthew Williams presented sharp suits with clean silhouettes. These beautiful waist accentuated suits featured squared off power shoulders. Styling was done in an elegant manner with turtlenecks and gloves. According to the designer, those fine black suits had been crafted in conjunction with Givenchy's couture atelier. Ed Maynor presented tailoring with his time, looked more fitted and feminized than usual. His suits were constructed with a shrunken nipped waist jacket and flowy crop pants. Last but not least, at Xenia, Alessandro Sartori presented his signature soft suiting. This time, suit jackets were cut in an elongated shape and featured cropped sleeves. These contemporary menswear uniforms were super wearable, also fit for relaxing in, taking business and doing everything in between. All right, guys, that sums up today's video pretty much. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.